episode with Sophie Uplift. It is always a refreshing topic, you know. And if you are joining us for the very first time on this podcast, I welcome you dearly because welcome to the family. Yes, this is a family where we talk about social issues, ethics, family, religion, education, career, business, and so many wonderful topics of knowledge and understanding. Yeah, let me put it that way. So kindly share the link of this podcast, like, and also subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to this podcast. So what are we looking at today? You know, we are, we, most of the elders, you know, they do say the world is turning upside down with this generation, with this youth, you know. But I believe we should have a sense of discipline, a sense of responsibility towards ourselves. Not even the society now, but ourselves. We should be responsible for our own lives, you know, our own existence. We need to be inculcated with discipline. So today I'm going to talk about five things that we should never start in the first place. You know, the moment you start um, doing it, it it may become very difficult for you to stop. And that is where addiction comes in. Though you may not call it addiction in your dictionary because it doesn't sound like an addiction. You feel like you can stop anytime you feel like. But trust me, it's not always that easy. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is cigarettes, smoking cigarettes, especially, you know, when you first take this first puff, if you're like, ah, this is not a big deal. I can do with it. I can do it. I'm a man. I'm a girl. I am a strong girl. I am a man. I can do this thing. I can handle it. And you know, the funnest part is so most young people, they get this habit from stars from celebrities because they're already promoting it that okay smoking is good for for them to promote it to do it in their videos in their musical videos they feel the the youth would be you know convinced that since this person is doing this since the celebrity is doing this i can as well do it freely what is there but mind you when the consequences begins to knock in their body you will not hear about it because they are so-called celebrity they already want you to know that they are going through this thing they're going through cancer they're going through kidney failure because they're celebrities they already want you to see the the dark or the downside of them but hello there don't try to do it don't ever attempt doing it there is an adage that says what do you will not finish do not start it okay so the second is alcohol of course you take it you feel good you were sad you took it and you forgot about your worries but it is just for a moment you're gonna forget your worries just for a moment not forever it's not going to pay your bills it's not going to wipe off all your issues so why taking what is not even good for your body system why? The moment you start, it's going to be so hard for you to stop it. Trust me. This is another one I'm going to talk on. It is fighting in public. Oh my goodness. As a young girl, as a young man, why fighting in public? Well, I've fallen in this shoe a number of times, but I just I try as much as possible to always cut myself, to always cut myself back. You know that, oh... I can't be doing this in public. I'm embarrassing myself. Some people may try to make, they will definitely provoke you. And for fighting, no. You shouldn't be fighting in public. The highest I've done is maybe have an open argument, you know. For fighting, fighting is not good. We should never attempt to do it because the moment you start it, you feel like, okay, that's your defense. So drop that. And the fault is developing bad habits. When you think you won't brush your teeth for only that night or that particular night, you will definitely do it again. Like every night, you wouldn't care to brush your teeth. Well, that's just an analog. But we should not develop bad habits. You know, when you know that this is bad, just don't do it. 
don't do it you know it is bad don't do it and the fifth is saying rude things to people that love you the fact that this girl is your friend or this man is your friend is your colleague is your classmate that doesn't mean you have the liberty to say rude things to them no they, would, they may not of course they're your friends they wouldn't show that they're hungry but deep down they feel sad about it and they will not forget that oh you said this about them or you said this to them it's gonna hurt them so guys let's work on these things and um here comes here brings us to the end of today's episode so so next time on this same channel with this lovely girl i remain sophie uplift and god bless nigeria